Hey guys, this is part two of a two-part series. If you haven't seen part one on how to install Android apps on your Sony camera, please go watch that now. In this second part, we're going to go over app troubleshooting and how to uninstall apps. There are lots of problems you can run into, so let's get into it. Here on my applications list, you can see that I have Flappy Bird installed. If we click on center button, it takes us to this loading page. However, it seems that this app does not work on my camera, so it sort of looks like I'm frozen. There's a lot of different buttons you can press, but I found that pressing the play button and the trash button are usually your best bets for getting out of applications. So. Because that was a bad app, I'm going to show you how to uninstall it. We'll go back into our application list, and then we will go down to application management. Just like you would uninstall any of the regular apps, you will uninstall Flappy Bird the same way. So we go down here, we select the app, and then it tells us that trash can is delete, menu button is back. So we hit trash can. And then we say OK to uninstall this app. And then it's now uninstalled. We won't see it in our list. There are a lot of limitations when trying to install Android apps. Uh, the biggest of which is that these Sony cameras are actually built on a really old version of Android. They're built on Android 2.3, which is gingerbread. That is many years old by this point. And a lot of apps have moved beyond that point and don't even support gingerbread anymore. So sometimes when you're installing apps, you will install the app and it looks good until you go to open it and it just crashes. And more often than not, that's because the app is not supported with that version of Android. I wish there was a way to sort the apps or filter the apps based on whether or not they run on gingerbread. But to this point, I haven't found a website that will let me do that. If you know of a website, please comment below and let us know. One common problem that I ran into with a lot of apps that I try to install is that they need the internet and for some reason internet is not enabled by default on the camera and I don't really know how to turn it on. In a lot of apps when they boot up and try to utilize the internet they just crash the app. Other apps are designed better so that they actually handle the exception and they will notify you that the reason they're not working is because they need the internet. For example, if we open up Facebook Lite, it tries to boot and it just crashes. After it crashes, it usually has to recover some data on the camera. Um, don't worry, I've never had my camera get bricked from this. I've never had my camera have any bad problems from this. The only thing I've seen is that sometimes when I go back to my apps list, they do not all show up. Um, to remedy that, I go back onto my computer and then I go through the same process to install the Open Memories App Store as I did before. And once you've reinstalled the App Store, the rest of your apps will also show up. Sometimes you don't get this recovering data page and it will just crash and be stuck on a black screen. I've had to pull out my battery several times when that's happened. But like I said before, I've never had long-term damage. I've never bricked my camera. This is always recoverable. You can always reboot your camera and uninstall any apps that you may need to. One final problem that I've run into is if you open an app that defaults to portrait mode, then the applications list will also be in portrait mode. The easy way to remedy this is turn your camera off and then back on again. When your camera is turned back on, it gets the orientation of the screen proper. I'm not sure why it won't register in camera, but that's the easy way to fix it. Thanks for watching. I hope you really enjoyed it and that you learned from it. If you try this out and install an Android app on your Sony camera, please comment below with your successes and failures. Once again, I really do appreciate you watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you again on my future videos. Bye.